Hey guys, in our previous video, we explored hierarchy function and we saw how to implement that. And today we are going to explore hierarchy belongs to and how it is different from hierarchy and its use cases. So if you look at uh, hierarchy belongs to, it, it is almost similar. Okay, so uh, 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 again, it captures the relationship uh, hierarchy between the data sets and the prerequisite also remains the same where uh, the uh, it is suitable for uh, data where the uh, nodes are captured in uh, adjacent columns uh, meaning the relationships are captured right so if i have node id say the node id is one and the ancestor id is four so the parent for one is four and the parent for four is five similarly so so any data where the relationships are captured in adjacent nodes uh, again we can implement hierarchy belongs to the uh, same as hierarchy but then what is uh, the difference right uh, so when we should go for hierarchy and uh, where hierarchy belongs to so if you look at the uh, output of uh, these two tables okay in hierarchy if you see here uh, we had total five records five nodes and the output also has got one to one uh, records right so the root node is five and we got all other details about the root nodes so the first level parent, second level parent, third level, etc. So every hierarchy or uh, the relationship has its own separate columns. Okay, but the total number of records remains the same. So it was five. So this is uh, suitable where you want to uh, display hierarchy uh, in as a separate filter or or represent it as a table, but whereas there are other cases where uh, let's say you want to implement a section access so you log in as a particular uh, role and you want to see your subordinates along with your uh, data right or if your subordinate logs in and he should be able to see only his data not the not his supervisor's data right so in such cases hierarchy belongs to helps you if you look at the output for the same set of five records here you could see for each of the nodes there are multiple rows created so here the table is not expanded horizontally instead it, it has expanded vertically so for example node 1 has got three rows here so let's say if i log in as a, a role 4 then i can see all the records associated with i mean the my parents my previous level or my next level subordinate childs right so for four, I could see one is associated. For four, there is four. Okay, so so I could see two records uh, associated for four. So so say suppose I log in as five. Five is nothing but the higher uh, node Europe. So if I log in as five, I will be entitled to see all the records under five. So I can see two. I can see one, three, four. Everybody, right? So in hierarchy belongs to the number of rows increases based on the number of levels of uh, ancestor or child. So this is more suitable uh, uh, in case where you want to implement a section access. So uh, with your uh, section access uh, table, you can link uh, with this field ancestor ID field and that will give you all the associated uh, records. So let's go to uh, click. I will just quickly explore. So if you see here, I have this uh, inline table. So I have different roles over here. So general manager uh, being the higher level, followed by the regional manager, uh, branch manager, and department manager. Okay. So if I log in as a general manager, then I should be able to see my data along with everybody, everyone's data, right? And if I log in as a department manager, then I should see only my data. I should not. I'm not authorized to see my superior uh, supervisor's data right and same applies for other roles as well if a regional manager logs in then he should be entitled to see all these three not the general manager role so if in such cases a hierarchy belongs to will help you so all you have to do is implement a section access and link it with this field ancestor id field that should uh, help you out okay so now if we visualize it in the ui i could see the ancestor ids and the node ids so if I log in as a general manager, then I see 
all my subordinates here right and if i log in as a department manager then i would see my only my data or if i log in as a regional manager then i see my data along with my next two uh, subordinates branch and department hope we got some basic understanding of uh, hierarchy belongs to and how to implement it in section access please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching